In Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6, the Bible says, The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mouth. Shout this prayer upon loud and clear. O God, arise and bring a permanent solution to all long-term problems of my life in the name of Jesus. O God, arise and bring a permanent solution to all long-term problems of my life in the name of Jesus. O God, arise and bring a permanent, a lasting solution to all long-term problems of my life. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV, a TV show dedicated to interpreting your dreams with welfare prayers. I'm Evangelist Joshua Reiki from Lagos. We are considering a topic today, and the topic is 10 reasons why you can't get to somewhere in your dreams. 10 reasons why you can't get to somewhere in your dreams. You can't get to somewhere. You are actually moving. You were actually going to somewhere, but you discover there was an obstacle. You discover that there's something that is pushing you backward. You discover that you're unable to fulfill your mission in that dream. So we are going to tell you the spiritual meaning, the symbolism, and the message behind this dream. To so dream of trying to get to somewhere very important in that dream, but you struggle to get there. It can be a bad or good sign. It may be a sign of fear, struggle, weakness, stagnation, limitation, failure, or change of plans, or change of environment. On the positive side, the dream may also be a sign from God for you not to embark on that plans, for you not to embark on that journey, for you not to take that decision. The dream may also be a sign for you to remain where you are, that is, for you to remain in that present location. Because there is time for everything. There is time to go, there is time to come, and there is time for you not to move out at all. There are other several reasons why you can't get to somewhere in your dreams. There are several reasons why you are finding yourself get, trying to get to somewhere. Maybe you were driving, but you discovered that you are unable to get there. You discovered that somebody was pushing you in the dream, but you discovered that you could not get to your destination. Or you saw yourself swimming, trying to swim out in that dream, but you discovered that you are unable to come out from that dream. So, we are going to tell you the reasons why you're unable to get out or you're unable to get to where you are going in that dream. Know for sure that God has good plans and purposes for us. And God used dreams, revelations and visions to communicate or to pass some vital messages to us. Number one, God may not assign you to take that move. God may not assign you to take that move. When God did not assign you to take that move, this is one of the reasons or this is one of the signs that you will experience in your dreams. God loves you so much and does not want you to end your assignment or your plans in shame or does not want you to be destroyed. He may be preserving your life. He may not allow the devil waiting for you, you know, to strike at you. So when you find it very hard to get to somewhere in that dream, it may be telling you in one way that there's not going to be blessings in that project or in that relationship you are about to pursue. When you discover that you are unable to get to that place, it could mean that God did not, you know, assign you. God did not allow you to go there. Maybe you are trying to, you know, you are trying to take that decision. Maybe you are trying to marry a person and you, are, you love that person. You try your effort to get him. That person keeps disappointing you. you no, know, it may be a sign from God to tell you that there's no way out there. That if you eventually find yourself getting married to that person, to that man or woman, you know, you may, you may regret ever, you know, entering into a relationship or into marriage with her. So there are messages in every sign that we face in the dream. When you discover that you're unable to get to somewhere, it might portend bad dream, it might portend good message. So you have to sit down and listen. So if you discover that uh, you are frustrated, when you're unable to get to somewhere in that dream, you need to pray that God, could there be anything that is in dream, clear them away and ask God, what are you saying concerning this dream? And God will reveal it better for you. Number two, you are not strong enough to take on that challenge. You are not strong enough to take on that challenge. You are very weak. 
You are trying to go into battle with an enemy. You are trying to fight with somebody. But you discover that uh, God did not give you that enablement to take on that challenge. That could be the reason why you are unable to get to somewhere. You know yourself very well. But if you discover that you are not strong enough mentally, physically and spiritually to take on the challenge, please do not force yourself into it. Otherwise, you will be disgraced and you will not achieve your purpose. If you know that you are not strong enough to pray, if you know that you are not strong enough to enter into spiritual warfare with the devil, it is better you back off or you connect with your prayer partner. Otherwise, the devil we know arrest you unaware in Jesus' name. Number three, you give up too easily. You give up too easily. You lack the spirit of courage, determination, and you are having that fear and doubt in you. And that could be the reasons you are stuck in one place in the dream. You are afraid to take risks. You are afraid to take decisions. You are afraid of what might happen to you when you eventually start the process. If you must achieve your purpose and progress in life, you must never give up or lose your trust in God. The reason why you're unable to get to that place is because you give up too easily. Any small journey, you give up too easily. That could be the reason why you are stuck in one place. You're unable to fulfill your destiny. So any barrier, any obstacle, you need to deal with them. If it's the spirit of procrastination, laziness, weakness, you need to deal with them. Or the spirit of doubt or the spirit of fear of the unknown. You have to take calculated risk in life. Four, someone discourage you. Someone discourage you. The reason you can't get to somewhere in your dreams, despite your effort, despite your knowledge, despite your experiences of life, is because someone gave you wrong advices. You were actually ready to pursue after your dreams, after your goals in life. But someone out of enviness, out of jealousy, thereby discouraging you by telling you that there's no blessing in what you are going for. That same dreams, that same goes to share with that person. That same person will copy that ideas. It will copy your dreams and begin to use it for its own benefit. Be careful how you share your goals with random people. For example, you're trying to enter into a business and you disclose that business plan with somebody. And that person told you that never to you know, start that business. That if you go into that business, that uh, the business will not be too good for you. You will, not, you will crash in that business. But by the time you begin to, you know, explain the plan, your strategies with that person, that person will copy it and with no time you will see that same person, you know, starting that same business. If you have friends like that, disconnect yourself from them. Five, you are under a course. You are under a course. If you are under a course, you will find it very hard to get to your destination on time, no matter how intelligent or worthy you become. So when course is in place, you find yourself unable to achieve your results. So you need to break that course today if you must achieve your breakthrough. Six, you are afraid of what might happen to you. You are afraid of what might happen to you. You are trying to reach for a place, but all of a sudden, you are unable to get there. That is the spirit of failure, disappointment at the end of breakthrough. Your enemy is putting fear in you so that you will not be able to walk towards your goals. You are afraid to take risks. And that's one of the limiting factors that can deny you of your progress. Be bold enough to wield up that spirit of fear and doubt in your life. If you have anything you want to achieve, be bold as a lion. Do not be afraid. If you have that goal, ask God for grace. Ask God for mercy. Ask God for support. And by the grace of God, you will achieve your mission in Jesus. In seven, you are lacking the preparation. You are lacking the preparation. How can you go for an exam? How can you plan for a marriage without preparation? Preparation puts you on track and thereby prepare you to face and overcome any challenges of life. So therefore, if you must fulfill or achieve your purpose, you must be ready. You must be fully prepared. When you lack preparation, you will be stuck in one place. When you lack preparation, you will get to somewhere very late. When you lack preparation, you know, you'll be delayed, you'll be frustrated. You need to be fully prepared for the tasks ahead. You were called for an interview, to come for an interview by 8 o'clock, for example. But all of a sudden, you left home by 7.30. Before you get to that organization, it's already 10 o'clock a.m. So, by the time you get there, 
the interview is over. So what do you do? That becomes a failure and setback to you. So anything that has to do with delay, procrastination, lateness, you have to deal with that spirit. Eight, you have no clear goals. You have no clear goals. One of the reasons you're unable to get to your destination on time is because you do not have clear goals, clear purpose in your life. You do not understand the direction you are headed to in life. You must have a definite purpose before you can embark on anything in life. If you embark on a journey without having a clear goal, you'll be frustrated, confused, and you'll find yourself struggle to achieve your purpose. You must have that clear goals. God, these are my goals. So that you will not be stuck in one place. Tell God, you are moving. Just like an athletic. They were running. Why? Because they have clear goals that they will surely run and, you know, and eat the track and, and, you know, and aim to become number one in that athletic competition. You must have clear goal for yourself. If you don't have clear goal, you'll be stuck. Somebody can come and stop you and tell you that uh, they have their other plans. And before you know it, you can buy into the plans of that person. But if you have clear goal for yourself, nobody can distract you because you will work towards the fulfillment of your goals. Nine, you have enemies of progress. You have enemies of progress. You are not getting to your destination on time because you have enemies opposing good things in your life, opposing your next move or sources. You need prayers to attack them. You know, when good things are coming, when you're on the right track, the enemies will come to come and delay you with talks, to come and divert your mind, cause all form of distractions. When you have clear goals, clear vision, you must not allow the enemies of progress to distract you. You must not allow them, you know, to, to, to put you off track. You must stay on track. Enemies will come. Do not allow them to distract you. Keep on pressing forward. And the Lord Almighty will protect you in Jesus' name. Ten, village powers are against you. Village powers are against you. Many powers in your father's house may be the reasons why you are finding it very hard to make a significant progress and success in your life. You need to pray against any form of foundational powers in your life. When village powers are against you, you will be stuck in one place. You will not be able to achieve your mission. Yes, you will not be able to get to that place. The village powers. They are the spirit of darkness, the spirit of near social syndrome. So you need to break that powers. The world, give your life to Christ, repent from your sins, break the cause of limitations in your life, ask God for his mercy and forgiveness, ask God for direction and guidance in your life. Shout this prayer upon number one loud and clear. Every power hindering my progress be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power hindering my progress be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every power Hindering my progress, be destroyed in Jesus' name. Two, I bind the spirit of fear, preventing me from taking risk in life. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of fear, preventing me from taking risk in life. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of fear, preventing me from taking risk in life. In Jesus' name. Three, O oh God, arise and give me a clear vision about my goals today. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise. And give me a clear vision about my goals today. In Jesus' name. For every enemy of my progress around me, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my progress around me, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my progress around me, scatter in Jesus' name. Five, Father, strengthen me in my efforts to achieve my breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Father, strengthen me in my efforts to achieve my breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Six, I bind the spirit of failure and stagnation in my life. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of failure and stagnation in my life. In Jesus' name, seven, by the help of God, I break all limitations in my life. In the name of Jesus, by the help of God, I break all limitations in my life. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, share to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. God bless you.